space is one of the last unexplored frontiers. It will likely be a place that humans never fully explore. With that being said, we've done a great job at studying many of the celestial bodies that reside close by. One of the most fascinating ones is that of the Sun. The Sun sits at the centre of the solar system, and is credited as being responsible for many important things. As stated on NASA's website, Nothing is more important to us on Earth than the Sun. Without the Sun's heat and light, the Earth would be a lifeless ball of ice-coated rock. The Sun warms our seas, stirs our atmosphere, generates our weather patterns and gives energy to the growing green plants that provide the food and oxygen for life on Earth. End quote. One of the more well-known things about our Sun is its incredible size and its temperature. It holds the title for being the largest celestial body in our solar system. Scientists have said it contains more than 99% of the total mass of the solar system, with the largest planet Jupiter containing just 0.2%. This giant is responsible for holding the solar system together, with scientists saying the Sun is around 110 times the diameter of the Earth. This means that over 1 million Earths could fit inside the Sun. Although the Sun is an incredible force, researchers have said there's billions of them throughout the Milky Way galaxy alone. Recently the Sun has been featured in the news, and this is because people are pointing their telescopes at it and watching it on live feeds. What's captured people's attention in recent years is the strange anomalies that seem to make themselves known close to the Sun. In recent times NASA has come forward and said these are nothing more than anomalies and that sometimes strange shapes appear due to processing errors. But amateur researchers don't believe these explanations, and have gone on to give their own theories for what they think they are. The most recent image that's making the rounds on social media is this one, and it shows what appears to be a large object close to the sun. Those who have seen the image have given a variety of possible explanations, with the most common ones being that of a giant UFO to it being a solar flare, One user said the following about the image. This is just another in a long line of objects that have been seen close to the sun. It seems that every other day one of these objects is spotted. The frustrating thing is that they never get investigated. They just get brushed under the carpet and given the label of space debris. How many more of these objects need to be photographed before they start to get taken seriously? End quote. Another user said this, It does seem odd that so many of these objects are seen close to our sun. The thing that makes me question them though is the sheer size of them. These objects are massive, being the size of our planet or bigger. So I can understand why people are sceptical about these types of photographs. But then perhaps we are looking at this wrong. Maybe we should have a more open mind when it comes to things outside of our planet. End quote. As mentioned before, amateur researchers have said that one of the best places to capture UFOs is that of the sun and moon, saying that many strange unidentified flying objects are photographed here, and that the majority of these remain unexplained. When these photographs are captured by NASA or other space agencies, they usually say the reason that these anomalies come up is because of processing errors, and in reality there's nothing there. As of right now, UFO researchers think these crafts have been visiting our sun for years, and even suggest they may be using it as some sort of portal, or that the sun could be some type of fueling station. NASA has said the following about these anomalies. Ever since launch, there's been a number of people who've claimed to have seen flying saucers and other objects in SOHO images, although some of these supposed pictures of UFOs can seem quite intriguing. They've always turned out to have quite an ordinary cause when examined by experienced scientists. Recently, we've been receiving so many questions and claims that we'd like to set the record straight. We've never seen anything that even suggests that UFOs are out there. In the past, we've been accused of covering up UFO evidence when we present our explanations, and refusing to comment or clamming up when we give up on somebody who wants to accept our explanations. While we don't expect to convince everybody, 
We hope that our pages and links can provide some information for the curious who want to investigate the claims on their own. Most commonly, UFO claims are due to perfectly natural flaws or artifacts in our publicly available data. Some of the things that people are seeing are planets, cosmic rays, software glitches and debris. Another NASA official said the following about these claims. The majority of these alleged UFO sightings can be easily explained. One of the things that people see is space debris that's made its way in front of the cameras. When these pieces of debris are up close, it can look like an unidentified flying object. In reality, people are just seeing a common piece of space debris. Others, though, don't bind to these explanations and say that so many of them are captured and each time they're different, with one person saying the following. I understand that NASA is trying to bring some sense to these photographs, but many of them are just too interesting to ignore. Some of these have been noted as hovering close to the sun for several hours, before it can then be seen making a slow exit. I definitely agree with NASA that some of these objects are things like space debris and camera anomalies, but it does seem very unlikely that every one of these is just debris. People who watch the sky have also reported seeing similar looking objects. So perhaps the UFOs that are seen on our planet and the ones that are seen close to the sun are linked. End quote. As of right now, NASA and other space agencies have said these objects don't need to be investigated, and that all people are seeing is just space debris. Amateur researchers, though, are convinced that something is going on. With space being so vast, could there be advanced crafts that have the ability to approach our sun? Or are we simply misinterpreting these objects as something else? So what do you make of this mysterious object captured close to the sun? And what do you think it could be? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.